So I got a little bit more fabric put out. Got my first load of rock. I'm gonna kind of place that over here because uh, as you can tell, most of it can be dumped straight out of the dump truck down on the slope, but I don't want to bury it into that pipe. So I'm gonna place that with the excavator, put a little bit more over there, and hopefully the dump truck can back up and dump the rest right over there. And all I gotta do is just spread it out. Make my life a lot easier than having to clean it all up from up here. So I'm gonna take that excavator and uh, spread that out real quick. All right, I got one load roughly spread and a little bit more holding the fabric down. So uh, we discussed, actually, I'm gonna go all the way back to that rock over there. So I got to go put, probably put down another three or four more pieces of fabric. And then we're gonna redo that edge over there as well. So I'll be back when we get some more rock. All right, I got me another 60 tons of rock dropped off this afternoon. So I'm gonna take the excavator and spread it down the hill and put big that little tree up over there and move it down and put some fabric on that hillside and get it where I can uh, stockpile some more rock. So I'm gonna go ahead and spread that pile, get this finished up and just kinda work my way on around. So that's gonna look good with that rock and those big boulders kinda showing right there. Kinda let them reveal a little bit. I think it'll look nice.
so I got that rock spread got some more fabric put out got the mini down here machine staged on the back side of the pile so when I get my rock my plan is to dump it right here transfer it to right there where the mini is and then work on the outside of the fence that's the plan at least we'll see how well it works just need some more rock so I got the remaining 80 tons of rock delivered today a lot of rock <laughs> want to make sure I had a plenty I'm going to have a plenty as I fall down the hill here oh good save I gotta fix the fabric the wind got it so what I'm going to do is continue that on down the hill and I got the mini I'm gonna go ahead and actually work my way I'm gonna start down there and work my way out or work my way down whatever works best I'm gonna take the big excavator and lay the rock to right there where the mini is then I can scoop it up and move it down the hill and place it along the shoreline. Here's my lovely access to get to that. The mini will not fit in between there anymore. After I graded it, I was taking the excavator laying the rock down. When I was actually, I was making such a mess, I discovered it's easier just to pick some grass back. So, the machine fits through the gate barely. got that section over the fence done that was the hardest part I want to do that in case it rained that way I wouldn't have to drive through the pasture if it was muddy one more piece of fabric around the pump and I still got about 40 about 45 tons worth of rock left so that should definitely cover this no problem I may end up putting a little bit more going towards that little tree right there I moved so we'll see in the morning I'll get over here and get finished up
Well, they shouldn't have to worry about any more erosion. I got all that rock put in all the way down where it tied back into the corner of the pond dam, around the irrigation pump, all the way there to the big boulder. Pretty much everything that was hard to maintain and that had washed out. You got 12 to 18 inches of riprap put on it. Somewhere around 180 tons, I think. A lot of rock. But I think it turned out well. Got everything seated and strawed. It got tore up. It was nice being able to dump most of the rock over the edge. It was just a lot less to have to clean up. But there it is. All done. This kind of puts it into perspective how big it is. On a side note, I didn't do too bad for my lid. It actually hangs pretty even. I got my manhole blocked up. I took the old framing grate off. We're going to set this one on here. And uh, I'm going to put the camera down so that I don't uh, screw nothing up here trying to do this one handed. So now I got the lid put in place and the uh, ditch graded back so the water can flow right around the uh, edges of that box freely. It's got a lid so you can't fall into it. But uh, what the problem was, the leaves were getting on top of this grate during a big rain and clogging it up and causing this to flood and the water pour over there and then down the hill. So now with the four inch gap all the way around that, it should be adequate and shouldn't get clogged up. It should let whatever small debris that's safe to go down the pipe, go down the pipe. And of course it's gonna go out into the pond, but it's better than this backing up, flooding, and washing the road out every time. So this should uh, pretty much wrap this project up now.